Thanks for joining me. Dr. Mark Vaughn of the Auburn Medical Group, and I'm making a video at the request of, well, actually it's a, it's a cooperation between myself and the company Echo because they came out with a new stethoscope. You may have seen my previous video of the Echo Core, which is more of a regular stethoscope with an amplifier in it, but allows you to record via Bluetooth the heart sounds and lung sounds, and then you can even share them online. Well, this, it, this does all that, but it also allows you to do a one lead EKG. So for example, if you're listening to the patient with this, because it's diaphragms right here for listening to the heart sounds, and you want to get a lead two, you would just place it at 45 degrees, just like lead two, positive here, negative here, and you'll get a rhythm strip out of it that you can print out. Uh, you have to connect to Echo's website and bring up your account, and then it allows you to print out a PDF of the actual EKG tracing. It's, and it's very clear, and it's surprising how good it works. They have some noise reduction circuitry in this that allows it to actually sound a little better than a regular air conduction stethoscope. You can use it the way you do a regular stethoscope. You can listen to carotids, you can listen to heart sounds, you can listen to lung sounds. Uh, one caveat though, if you are used to listening to people through clothing, you may find that uh, that's disappointing when you try to get a rhythm strip because you have to have conduction for the electrical signal to be able to get a rhythm strip. So you do have to have this on the patient's bare skin in order to get the rhythm strip. And you can actually change which lead you're getting according to the positioning. So again, this is lead two, Roman numeral two, if you're doing a rhythm strip on the patient. It charges with a wireless charger. You just place the head on the charger and it will change, uh, actually the readout of the lights changes when it's fully charged. To record while listening to a patient, you double tap on the head of the Echo Duo and that starts the recording on the app. So if you hear something good, you just double tap while you're listening and you're able to make a recording of it. I've been using this exclusively for about a week now since we got it. And I found that I'm, at first I, I had to get used to it because it is a different shape from your regular stethoscope head. But now that I'm used to it, it is what I'm using all the time because you always have that capability of recording if there's something you want. I do a lot of teaching and so that's why this really appeals to me. I can record these and then show both the waveform and the ECG form to students while they're listening to what the sound actually sounded like. And it also allows us to have patients or students listen to lung sounds and heart sounds. And because they can be transmitted Bluetooth, I can be listening in to what they're hearing so I know how to help them with positioning. I really like it for that. So I'm gonna keep using it. I thank Echo for giving me this, the, the demo, obviously, demo sample. And hope that some of you that also are in a situation like me where you'd want to make a rhythm strip without getting out your whole EKG machine or you want to do some teaching, this is really handy. So we'll have a link in the description to Echo so you can pick up your own. Until next time, Dr. Mark Vaughn telling you to stay in good health.